This video is sponsored by AEDUS, but you must know that I only promote those products which I either personally use or I believe that these products may be helpful to you guys in some way or the other. All these amazing plugins are from AEDUS and they are absolutely free to use. You can download them from their official website and use them in your projects in both After Effects and Premiere Pro for absolutely free. The best thing about these drag and drop plugins are they are super easy to use and you can use them directly inside Premiere Pro. I've been using them for the last few months in all my own personal projects as well as clients projects and I just love them. They obviously have plethora of other paid plugins which are even better and can make your workflow easier and faster, can help you position yourself as an advanced video editor and ultimately help you make more money as a pro video editor. All the pro video editors that I personally know use some kinds of such plugins in their workflow to take their edits to the next level. But if you are a beginner then the free plugins from AEJuice are more than enough for you and you should definitely start using them. These are one of the best free plugins available for both After Effects and Premiere Pro. And once you feel the need to upgrade you can always buy one of their paid plugins as per your needs. In this video I'll show you how to download the free plugins from the official website of AEJuice, how to install the plugins. I'll also give you a brief overview of the AEJuice plugin manager and I'll show you how to use their free plugins in your edits. I'll also show you some of my most favorite premium paid plugins from their ultimate AEJuice plugin bundle for which by the way I'll give you a mind blowing offer and if you want the absolute best in the market then you definitely wouldn't wanna miss this offer. I'll also discuss with you who should get these plugins and is it worth it. So now let's see how to download the free plugins. So open this video on your desktop then go to the video description below and click the link and it will take you to their official website. Once you are on their website click on this free plugins option. It will open up this new window. If you are on Windows then click on this download for Windows option and if you are on Mac then click on this download for Mac option. As I am on Windows I will just click on this download for Windows button. Now it will ask for your email address. Just fill up your email address. Check this option and click on download. It will immediately send you the download link to your email address. I have already downloaded the plugin manager so I am closing this window. Now let's see how to install the AEJuice plugin manager. Once you have downloaded the plugins, you will get this archive file. You will need WinZip to extract the installer. If you are using a different archive manager than WinZip, then use that to extract the installer. I have WinZip installed so I will right click on this file, I will click on show more options and from this WinZip menu, I will just select this option unzip to here. This will extract the installer file. Now just double click on it and follow the on screen instructions to install the AEJuice plugin manager. Once the installation is complete, the AEJuice plugin manager will be available for both After Effects and Premiere Pro. Now let's open up Premiere Pro and see how to use some of the free and paid plugins. So here I have opened up Premiere Pro and I have set up a demo project. Here I just have some stock footage. You can see here I have some dance clips. Here are some vintage clips. At this moment there is no effect applied. So once you have installed the AEJuice plugin manager then open up Premiere Pro and go to this window option and in this extensions option you will get to see the AEJuice pack manager 4. Just click on it and it will open up the plugin manager. Drag to resize. So this is the AEJuice pack manager. It has its own window that you can open directly inside Premiere Pro. Here are all the plugin set that I have got in there I want it all bundle. You can see here are a lot and lot of plugins. Here is an old film constructor. There are some liquid elements. Here is some prism elements, seamless transitions, VHS effects, animated markers, light swipe transition, newspaper construction, YouTube pack, cyberpunk HUD2, broken glass effect, slides, cartoon comics, epic trailers, kinetic typography, split screens, history timeline. There are so much and almost everything that once you get this I want it all bundle, you won't need anything else. But for now, let's come to this free section. But before that, go to this icon and click on it and log into your account with your email address. Then come to this free section. You will see there are a starter pack, a starter pack VFX, some sound effects and a favorite section. Just click on this download button and it will start downloading the assets. So let's download this sound effects as well. In the meantime, let's see this free starter pack. Just click on it, then it will open up all the elements that you can use for absolutely free. You can see here are some liquid elements. You can click on this folders and it will directly take you to the corresponding elements. So you can use some shape elements, you have some titles, you have kinetic typography, you have flat icons, you have film noise, you have letterboxes, light swipes. These are all free assets that you can use in any of your projects and to use them Suppose I want to use this light swipe transition. 
all I have to do is click on this download button. It will start downloading and import the asset directly onto my timeline. Just try to notice over here. I can close this window. And if I zoom in to my timeline, you can see the light swipe transition has been placed on top of my timeline. I can then place it in between the cut and this will work as a transition. How easy it is. You can also select this clip and mess with its properties. You can zoom in, zoom out, rotate, all the usual stuff. Now, if I want to use another asset, then all I have to go into the plugin manager once again, resize the plugin manager and let me see. Suppose I want to use this distortion asset. All I have to do is click on this download button and it will start downloading and import the asset directly onto my timeline. But remember, you obviously need internet connection for this to work. Once the download is finished, you can see the asset has been placed on the timeline once again. So if I want to place it over here, I can easily do that. All I have to do is click on this clip and change its blend mode from normal to screen and it will work as an overlay. Let's see. You can use them as per your liking. And if I want to use this Neon X marker, then I can download and import it directly. Or if I want to make it my favorite, then I can click on this star button and it will appear in my favorite section. And here is the favorites folder. So if I want to navigate to the favorites folder, I can always do that by clicking on this favorites folder. You can also see the preview on these thumbnails. All these assets are absolutely free to use. You can zoom in to the thumbnails or if you want, you can zoom out as well. There are some icons. Suppose if I want to add this map mark, then all I have to do is click on this download button. Now see, this has been placed. You can obviously use it with other assets as well. So if I want to reposition the icon over here, then I can do that. And I can also take a text box like this one and input this as well. You can see this text box has appeared. So I can also edit this. And to do that, I have to click on this clip, go to essential graphics and change the text from here. The text has been updated. I can also place this text box as per my requirement. And then if I play the sequence, you can see how easily you can create these motion graphics. All the free plugins that you can see over here are more than enough for you if you are just starting out. So definitely start exploring them and using them in your edits. And now if I show you some of my favorite paid plugins, then this old film constructor is one of my favorite. So if I go into this, you can see here are some dust and scratches. If I zoom in, then you will be able to see in a much better way. So here are some dust and scratches that you can use in your edits. Here are some film assets. Here are some film burns. And here are some film frames that you can use. Here are some 16 millimeter film perforation overlays. These overlays really add to your edits. For example, here I have a vintage footage. So if I want to add some drama to it, then I can add these film burns. See, the film burn has been placed and these are already pre-keyed. These are looking really, really beautiful. And if I show you even more, then click on this home icon to explore all the plugins. So I can close this old film constructor. Here are some liquid elements that you can use. There are so many, so many. Here are some prism effects. These are also my favorites. These effects easily take your edits to the next level. Here are some seamless transition. Anything that you can think of is already there. Here are some VHS effects. Then you have animated markers. Here are some light swipe transitions. Here are some newspaper construction. Here is a YouTube pack. If you are a YouTuber, you make YouTube videos, then these assets can be really helpful. There is this broken glass effect. Cartoon comics pack. These are backgrounds that you can use in your edits. Here are some epic trailer titles. Kinetic typography. You can buy each of these plugins separately as a standalone plugin or instead what I would recommend you to get is the I want it all bundle. You will get everything, all of these plugins inside that bundle for only $149. And just see for yourself, you can use all of these plugins in any of your projects for lifetime. Think of any effect you want and you will get a plugin inside this bundle. So now let's talk about who is this for or who should get these plugins. So if you are a professional video editor who edit videos regularly, you may edit wedding videos, music videos or commercials or fashion videos for clients. Or if you are a motion graphics artist or a VFX artist or even if you are a YouTuber and you make YouTube videos regularly and you earn money editing videos. Even if you don't know much about motion graphics and you want to add some animation to your 
videos then you can use these plugins to easily create animations such as title animations or you may want to add other animations and motion graphics to your videos to spice up your videos and you don't want to invest so much time making these animations yourself you want a quick workflow then these plugins are definitely for you and definitely you have to think of these plugins as investments just like if you want to do good color grading then you need a professional monitor similarly if you want to position yourself as a pro video editor then you definitely need to invest in such plugins and in my honest opinion the i wanted bundle from ages offers really great value and at this moment you can get this i wanted bundle plugin for only $149 which is around 15,000 Indian rupees. So if you know you can get the return on your investment then you should definitely get this plugin until this offer exists. Just so you know this is a 99% discount. So definitely grab this offer till it exists. Now if you ask me is it worth it then I will tell you that you need to think of it as an investment just like you invest on your computer, monitors, cameras etc to level up your videos and workflow just like that these plugins will also help you level up your final result. So if you want to differentiate yourself as an advanced video editor, if you want to add some flair to your videos, if you want to charge more from your clients, then you can use these plugins regularly to up the quality of your videos. I'm sure in time, these plugins will pay for themselves. And who should not get it? If you're just a beginner, you don't edit videos professionally yet, then I don't recommend you the paid plugins, but definitely start using their free plugins and you can upgrade later on. Check out the video description below for all the links.